So Sai Harlequin this weekend, they represent a really tough task at the Stoop, don't they? Yeah, and you know, um, it's one of those fixtures every year that we sort of look forward to and, you know, obviously we've we've moved up to Coventry, but the, you know, the local rivalry sort of feel is still there. Um, you know, this year they've they've really stuck it to us at times, you know, uh, the the European match recently was, you know, testimony to, you know, they're never going to roll over and, and and give up against us, you know, this that is that rivalry there. Does it make it di- different having the preparation? Obviously, we've played them four times already this season. Does that make it different? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, we've got to prepare for the unexpected. Well, try to as much as we can, but, you know, we've played a few games against them now and that's um, that that's going to play a part, but... You know, we, we know what to expect from them. You know, they're, they're going to come at us and, you know, try and get under our skin. we just got to rise above that. Yeah, and they have a very strong set piece, don't they? What, yeah. what do you think the key areas of the game will be? Yeah, obviously, the you know, the scrum battle is, you know, is what I'm interested in. Um, you know, we're, we're really going to try and put a marker up front um, and, and go at them in that area. You know, the, the line-out as well has to function to give, you know, our backs um, the platform they need and... You know, we've seen a couple of times that we've played against them. If we give them that set piece, then, you know, we have a very potent first phase attack. So, yeah. yeah. They've lost a few players to England, but they've shown in, in recent weeks they've got really good strength and depth, so that makes it no easy task either. No, definitely. I mean, you know, we've we've got a few boys away. Um, obviously, we've got boys coming back in the next few weeks. But, you know, it's we, we're trying not to focus on them you know this week it's it's going to be all about us on our preparation we've had you know last week to sort of um get back the focus of for this week and and you know we're really starting the week with a bang and some of the boys have had a chance to rest up during the anglo Welsh cup period do you think that'll have any impact on the weekend oh massively you know um you know just have that first week to just complete rest and then you know a bit of a regeneration week the second week you know the give the coaches a chance to get their hands on us it's been you know it's you know it's been tasty but you know I think all of us are you know coming today with you know bouncing our step you know very energetic and we're, we're really ready and ready to go for the weekend and like many players you've been called upon to play a lot of minutes this season with the injuries that we've had but it's good to see some of those players returning now isn't it yeah I mean you know I've enjoyed every minute that I've, I've played and you know a long way it continued you know I've you know um but yeah, it is nice seeing boys back on the pitch. You know, um, there's been a couple of long layoffs. Tommy Taylor has been out for for a while. It's really nice seeing him getting 50, 60 minutes on the weekend. And this is a key block of fixtures for us, isn't it? With some really tough Premiership games coming up. Yeah, I mean, um, it's only a block of four, but you know, like we keep saying every time, it's you know, there's no week off in a sense. You know, every team on the day can perform, and if we're off our, our metal. Then you know a couple of teams are going to surprise us, and it has it has happened this year. So, you no know, massive focus for the next four games for us, and they're they're really important. Brilliant, thanks, and good luck on the weekend. Thank you very much.